Apple says it plans to crack down on child sex abuse. The company will now be scanning U.S. iPhones, checking for concerning videos and photos. But some are concerned that may be crossing the line. CBS 2's Kieran Dillon has more. Apple says the new tool is called Neural Match. It'll scan images on your cell phone before they're uploaded to the iCloud and flag anyone's known for child sex abuse. The company also plans to scan encrypted messages for sexually explicit content. Apple says neither technology will interfere with your security or privacy, but some tech experts have concerns. Everybody's behind Apple's mission here, you know, to protect children, but they're worried about that, you know, slippery slope concept. What's going to happen if another government wants to use this technology or even our own government in maybe a way that isn't to, you know, identify abused children or missing children? This data security expert says in theory the concept is a great idea, but he worries about hackers and the technology being misused. How could a, a government use this for mass surveillance? You know, ne next it could be national security or terrorism, or how even could this be misused for political gain? Meanwhile, New Yorkers have mixed opinions. Many say ending child sex abuse is the most important thing, but others worry their privacy could be compromised. It can be used for other purposes, and then our privacy gets, you know, limited and eroded away and it gets more and more like Big Brother. It's the right thing to do because um, we don't know who has what on their phones, so it's just a safer um, thing to have. If you're storing stuff on Apple servers on their, on their database and if it's criminal stuff, maybe they have an obligation to determine whether they have criminal stuff on their systems or not. Apple says the change will be implemented later this year as a part of an update to its operating system. On the Upper West Side, Kieran Dillon, CBS 2 News.